you don't currently qualify for Advanced Placement AP, PSEO, Post-Secondary Enrollment, Concurrent Enrollment, and you have no other way of earning college credit while you're in high school, please keep on watching. This message is especially for you. If you are on track to obtain your GED or graduate from high school, or you need to earn college credit, and you would like to know how to save money, how to make this possible, this is why we're making this video. CLEP, as we've mentioned, is an awesome, awesome tool, resource, opportunity that you should be taking advantage of. If you are able to read and write, the likelihood that you can reach your goal is extremely probable. It's very, very flexible as well. You get the textbook and you have the internet, so you'll be able to use the online resource to help you review the questions. Um, you can get, be able to take like quizzes on there, like reviews at the end of each chapter. It's really nice because you get to study and do this all on your own time. You're not in the classroom. It's very flexible and that's the one big huge advantage of CLEP and also it's a lot cheaper than paying to go to an in-class room studying. I can't stress enough, if you currently are not eligible to earn college credit while you're in high school because your mentors, your advisors, your teachers are saying that you are not supposedly college bound or what have you, I rebuke that wholeheartedly because while I was in high school, I would ask about PSEO. I would ask about options for earning college credit and I would always get this response, well, that's for the AP students. That's for the students that have a high reading score, what have you, what have you, what have you. Long story short, when I was in high school, I graduated with a below average grade and it took me many years to get my self-esteem where it needed to be, believe in myself, and I graduated summa cum laude, which is the highest honors at the undergraduate level. I have currently earned 18 graduate credits and I hold a 4.0. This is why I'm very passionate and this is why I am very interested in your success because it makes me think back to when I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have a proper advisor. I didn't have someone telling me, hey, this is how you can reach your goals. This is how you can accomplish what you desire. We have created a list of videos professionally made by CLEP that not only explains to you how to register for your CLEP exam, it also gives you key points of why this is important, why you should do this. Number one, to reach your goals, to get a better job, to be able to buy the house that you dream of buying. We wholeheartedly believe that God has given each and every single one. I can't even say that right. <laughs> each and every single of us. There. <laughs> say it again. Each and every one of us. <laughs> Each and every single one of us. She's so cute, my <laughs> wife, isn't she? I'm getting really excited here. So yes, I have this list. The CLEP tutorial testing platform video gives you an example of what the tests may look like for you and what to expect as far as the, the tabs and the screen itself. The CLEP exam registration tutorial is self-explanatory. It takes you step by step. It's a 10 minute video on how to register for your CLEP exam. Something that we both agree on is that we don't necessarily recommend the resources that they have for purchase, the additional resources to, such as the CLEP guide or the um, list for study. What do you suggest instead, Aaron, for them to do? Well. What worked for me, and it might be different for you, you just get your book online through Book Renter, and then you can easily get a companion website, which we will give you an example of which one that you can utilize. That seemed to work the best for me. It just, each chapter, they give you sample questions, review questions, and I thought that was very helpful before, you know, getting ready to take the actual CLEP test. So that's what I would recommend is to using the companion website and getting the book through like Book Renter, which is a really, really good deal compared to buying a new book from the bookstore. If you take anything from this message, please listen to me very carefully. If you can read and write 
and you currently do not have college credit and need to earn college credit in the near future, you can do this. This is possible. CLEP has over 33 subject areas and they include dozens of exams in world history, in English um, language, composition, Spanish, German. And a lot of these you can clap out now of like, I don't even know if there's a certain age that you have to be, but can you even be in 10th, 11th grade and you can start clapping on? Well, they're in these? high school, correct. So get these out of the way. I mean, these are all general classes that you're going to most likely take anyway. So get these out of the way. You'll be able to graduate from college, maybe even like one or two years sooner, depending on how many you can clap out of. So it's a great advantage. So why not just start getting some of these done now? Okay, so number one thing you're going to do is assess which area you are more than likely to excel. Are you really good at math? Are you good at writing? Are you good at reading and comprehension? What is the one area where you know for a fact you stand out? You have a desire to learn about world history or you have a desire to become a better writer. What is it? More than likely, this is the, t uh, the test that you will be most suitable for. Uh, number two, go to the list of the exam and find out what are the books that they suggest that you need to read to take this test. What books that you need to read? What did I say? Well, <laughs> what I was, this is kind of off the subject a little bit, but <laughs> my wife too, she's also really smart and she's... I'm sure you've already know that she's bilingual in Spanish and English, and she was able to successfully test out and get um, credits for Spanish, which I was thinking. That's a good was one. Was it Spanish? Spanish clip? Yeah, I obtained 12 college credits. That just popped into my head, and I just thought, you know what? That's really, really awesome. Simple test. You can get, like, so much credits, and that's... And for that particular CLEP, I did purchase the $10 companion through the CLEP website. However, after buying that $10 CLEP add-on, never again did I buy one again because it didn't do much for me. I'm not talking against the, the CLEP add-ons. Please don't take this wrong. I'm not saying that. Every student will be different, so you have to assess your own strength and your own um, but ability and what have you. My testimony, too, is I clipped out of three classes, and I also did one called DSST, which I did was I got my textbook from, I think it was Book Renter every time, got the companion website, which is how I studied and reviewed, and I passed the test the first time every time I passed right away. So if I can do it, you can do it too. And maybe you're studying and the way you want to review might be a little different, but that's the way that we recommend. Yes, so. I am honestly, seriously, truthfully, very excited for you, especially if you're being told that you don't have what it takes, especially if you're being made feel like you will never be up to par. You are not college bound, whatever. I am very passionate to talk to these students because I've spoken unfortunately to advisors and mentors and people who oversee young people and sometimes they have this perception or this view about certain people well they're just not meant to go to college they're just not college bound and it really gets under my skin it does it does it gets under my skin because I was one of those students and by the grace of God and by his strength and his mercy and his just genuine love that he has for all of his people, I didn't listen to those individuals that were making me feel like I was never going to be able to accomplish my goals and my dreams of getting an undergraduate degree. So I'm very passionate about you and I want you to know that you can do this. How badly do you want to reach this goal? So please go to the CLEP list review all the exams that are available to you choose one of the exams we um today are talking about human growth and development that's the one i wanted to talk to them about yes and that was one of my classes that i was successfully able to test out of on the first try and we have two companion websites link found below that you can click on that link not only will it give you you know pre 
quiz questions. It will also provide you with flashcards, learning objectives. So you go out to Book Renter or Chegg, any of the book renting companies out there, search for the textbook. I think Book Renter was like $12.99 to rent this book. Isn't that pretty cheap compared to... 60 bucks, you can easily pay for a new book. Please listen to us. We, we, we want you to save money yes, too, just like we were, to to, yes. we were able to save money by clipping out too. So you rent the book for $12.99. The companion website is free. The exam is $80. You won't pay more than 30 bucks to take the exam. So you're looking at less than $150. To take a class, it's going to easily cost you way over $600. Right, a class can sometimes even run up to 700, right? Depending more. on if there's four credits, more. so. Depending where you're attending, community colleges will be more affordable, public universities will be a little bit more affordable than private universities. Hey, and you know, if you are blessed that you don't need to save money, share this information with someone who needs to save money. Not everyone has that. And you can save big money at Menards too. <laughs> And they're not paying us for that. <laughs> they're not paying us for that, though. Save big money at Menards. What does that have to do with clap? Save big money with clap yes. as well. And clap is not paying us to make this video either. We just know for a fact that Aaron has earned over nine college credits, probably more, but I'll say at least nine. At least nine college credits utilizing clap. And I earned also a minimum of 12 college credits utilizing clap. And yeah. if I can sure do it, you can do it. But it's even though you're doing this independently, you still need to treat it as if it's a class. You still need to you still need to read the chapters. You need to pace yourself. At least read two to three chapters a week. And then you need to go on the companion website, keep reviewing reviewing the chapter questions. And then so you hopefully by the third month, you will be ready to take the test, get the credits, and pass. Because if you wait too long, you easily can start to forget what you're reading. And so, while it's fresh in your mind, that's when you want to take the test. You don't want to wait too long. Keep pacing yourself. Either it's spend a couple hours a day studying, reading. You need to dedicate time each day to do this. Recap, how badly do you want to earn college credit and save time and money? Number two, can you find an accountability partner? Preferably an adult. <laughs> if you find, or someone who is a peer of yours that you notice that they are dedicated and they are just focused on reaching their goals. Not only are they saying that they want to reach their goals, they're actually reaching. So find someone who is trustworthy, mature, and you could be accountable to them. And maybe a study partner is another option. Like, let's say another person with you wants to take the um, CLEP test. I mean, that's a great way. Sometimes studying together with another person might be helpful. It just, what would work, what would work best for you? Yes. And finally, if you know any person who needs to earn college credit, especially someone who doesn't have any mentors, advisors, someone that can tell this person, yes, you have what it takes. Yes, this is possible. Please have them watch this video because I didn't have any mentors. I didn't have any advisors. I didn't have anyone when I was younger telling me this is possible. And this is why it gets under my skin when young people, especially young people, are told that they just don't qualify for AP, PSEO, and we can go around it. And depending how badly you want this, I sound like a broken record. If you can read and you can write and you're on your way to earn a high school degree or a GED or you've already earned it and need college credit, you can do this. Follow the steps that we will list below. These are specifically for human growth and development. However, you can follow these steps for any of the other exams. I'm not claiming that everyone's going to be able to clap out of calculus and everyone's going to be able to clap out of English Composition 1. What I am claiming is that the likelihood that you can earn a minimum of three college credits is extremely likely. 
Because if you can read and write, is it possible, Aaron? Come on, if you earned college credit and I earned college credit, isn't it possible for them? Absolutely, it's possible. And I just was going to say something. What was it? <laughs> that you're loved and you're beautiful and you're amazing and you are extraordinary. And no matter what anyone has said to you, this is possible. You have what it takes and you can reach your goals. And we want you to save time and we want you to save money. And the big thing is that you'll be saving money. Not necessarily the institutions will be saving money, but you will be saving money, which I'm sure that you'd like to have some extra money in your pocket to do whatever you need to do or to buy what you've really been waiting to buy. You can give the money away to charity. You can go on a mission trip. You can buy a new car. Spend you it on can... yourself. Or do other things with it. Mm -hmm. Good things, all right? Bless you all in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Y como se dice en español, si se puede. Yes, it can you be can done. You can do it. You can do it.